Thank you for tuning in to the best parenting show on the internet. Post Daily Dose. What's up, Facebook family? Welcome to another episode of Post Daily Dose. With me, your trusted parenting advisor, faithful guide and servant on the healing journey, coming to you from Cartagena, Colombia. Que es nombre? Papi Grande! Brian Post. Hope everyone's doing fantastic this evening. So here's the thing. You know, I've been doing this whole National Adoption Month celebration awareness thing and really... Didn't feel like uh, talking about anything this evening, but I found a post. I read a post today by Stacy Jackson Gagnon, and I put it in the description of tonight's episode by her daughter Bailey. So her daughter Bailey wrote this post about what about bio children? So that's why I put it in the title of the episode, What About Bio Children? And it is fan freaking tastic. And I really want to encourage you to go read it. I think it's just great, especially um, if you've ever had the question, what about biological children when it comes to adoption? Bailey pretty much nails it, which lets Big Papa off the hook. And I thought, because Bailey did such a good job, thank you, Bailey, thank you, Bailey, thank you, Bailey. And thank you, Stacey and Darren, for raising such an insightful um, and, and mindful young lady then Big Papa gets let off the hook, and I thought I'd show you guys around my living quarters here in uh, Cartagena. Um, hopefully, we'll continue to get signals. So, again, hello, Mimi. Again, go uh, just look in the description of the uh, episode tonight, and uh, you'll see, you can go on Stacy's uh, Facebook page. You should follow her anyway. They're, they're the parents of just amazing kids. Obviously, Bailey is, is amazing as well. Just another amazing child in the Jackson Gagnon family. And uh, she just has great posts. And I repost a lot of St Stacy's stuff all the time. I'm just tightening up this little gadget here because it's supposed to be like I should be able to use it with my hand. I'm not sure. Okay, there. So anyway, keeping with National Adoption Month, what does an adoptee, me, do when he's on vacation? Actually, I don't do anything at all. I'm so happy to, well, I'm not really on vacation. It's work, It's like a working vacation kind of thing, but I've never been to Cartagena. I'm so happy to be by myself because I don't have to do anything that I don't want to do. So I pretty much stay within a 50 feet radius other than um, in the morning when I go for a, a walk on the beach. So anyway, this is my front door. So I go out this front door, go down these steps. I don't see if, you know if you see much of that. So you go down those steps there. That's very important. Here's my front door. Here I am. So I'm walking in my front door. This is like the Cartagena, Columbia version of Big Papa's Cribs. And so here's my room. So let's see. Have a little closet here. Got my clothes neatly organized. My mother would be so proud of me. And then I have my bed. This is the, the place where the mosquito attacked me. Um, you notice this is also the white shirt edition because I never wear anything except black t-shirts. I have a little stand with my little my little treats and goodies on it. I have my little clothes. You know, I try to be pretty organized, pretty neat. Um, and then I got my little writing. So like more more stuff here. Like oh okay. So here's here. You guys are probably gonna get dizzy looking at this. Here's the bathroom. Um, really nothing special. It uh, gets the job done. That's the bathroom, that's the shower, yada, yada, yada. Nice little ventilation window up there. And then, um, so, you know, as I was telling you, the room's kind of all white. And then right here is my little workstation. You see that, my little workstation? That's it right here. <clears throat> this is my little area where I work. I've spent hours here today, um, really kind of getting in the zone. I've got a few books here. A few books that I'm reading. So kind of when I get bored of reading my own stuff, I just pull up a couple of books. I very mm -hmm. seldom read a novel. This one's pretty good. Barbarian Days, I think Tim Ferriss recommended it. So I've been, you know, I'm about halfway through it. And then 
21 Keys to Success, Rick Ross, the real Rick Ross. He was a drug dealer. And then Tillman Fertitta, Shut Up and Listen. I like business stuff. Oh, and so here's a here's a little sketch. Let's see if I can show you that. See that little sketch? So this is eventually going to become a cartoon graphic in um, in the book. I've got a, a great illustrator. If you remember the uh, from Fear to Love, the illustrations in the book. Um, he is really, 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 really good. And for some reason, his name is Mark. Mark, Mark's last name is skipping my, my mind, but I'll have to let you know. So anyway, I had this idea about the brain stem being like hardware because it saves all and stores all of our memories and experiences from conception. And then the amygdala is like a software program. The hypothalamus is like a software program. And then the hippocampus is like a software program. And so you get these messages from the hard drive and then these interpretations of this input and data from all over the system that it runs through this software. And it's just like this feedback loop that goes on and on and going. And then it, it kind of outputs into the screen. And that's what you see. That's our prefrontal cortex. That's what we see with our eyes and what comes out of our mouth. That's like our screen, our speakers. So I just want to kind of make that graphic so people can understand that everything is weighed against your past experiences. Like every everything that you encounter, there, there are really no novel experiences. Everything's weighed against past experiences. So then, anyway, here I am. Here's my little, my little laptop. Let's see, three, two, three, two. What was that? See there? There's my stuff. Oh, it's my beverages. This is a Mexican cerveza. Um, well, this is a, a, a Mexican elixir. And then, <laughs> then we have water. And so then uh, let's walk out here. Now, we got to make sure that mosquitoes don't get Big Papa. Close the door very fast. So this is Cartagena, Colombia. So it's dark, as you can see. Um, this is perhaps one of the coolest little places I have ever been. I mean, it's connected to the locals. The ocean is is right over there. Literally, the ocean is 30 feet away, and it's all sand. And um, it's just been really... A really cool experience so all right we don't want to stand out here for too long so anyway that's big papa in cartagena columbia and um it's been a good time so i hope you guys have had a fantastic day maybe tomorrow i will have something a little bit more educational to talk about but you know don't you get tired of that stuff oh i mean so here i am like this is what i've been doing every day just writing Napping, getting up, reading, coming back, reading, writing, reading, writing, reading, writing. And tomorrow, Leonardo's going to take me downtown. So I'm looking forward to that. But Because otherwise, I'm just like a total introvert. And you guys are who I've talked to more today than I've talked to you guys more all week than I've talked to anyone. Because my Spanish is so utterly terrible. So anyway, I'm going to get back. I was kind of in the flow. When 7.30 came around, I'm on Eastern Standard Time. That's why it's dark here, so it throws me off. Because when I'm in California, right, it would be 4.30. So it would still be light out. When I'm in Oklahoma, it would be dark. Here, it's very dark. So I'm going to get back to work and uh, see if I can't crank out a few more pages. And hope you guys have a fantastic evening. Again, go check out Stacy Jackson Gagnon's Facebook page. It's in the description. Her daughter, Bailey, her post on what about biological children fantastic i love it especially the part about costco all right everyone remember in any given situation you always have two choices you can either react from your same imprints of stress fear and overwhelm or you can stop you can slow down you can take three to ten deep breaths and you can choose love god bless each and every one of you big papa loves ya and we'll see you tomorrow